Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, July 10th, 2022. Week 188. It is my mama's 80th birthday today. 80th birthday. Amazing. I know, right? Yeah. It's so crazy. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I got to talk to her. She's in Canada, so I don't get to go see her, but um, I got to talk to her this morning, and it's Sunday. It's very rare. I don't remember other than being on vacation. I actually have the day off today. Well, she says off, but she's not off because she'll be doing the other job too. Just on Monday. Okay. All right. So uh, last week I was 344 and this morning when I jumped down, I was 344. So I'm zero, but it's not up and it's not down. Even Stephen. Yeah. And Didn't have the greatest week. Uh, a couple of the days I did not sleep a minute. And I try, believe me. I've taken every over counter medicine. I've seen doctors and gotten slews of bottles of pills to make me sleep. It's it's not a physical thing. I'm exhausted. It's all in my brain. I'm mentally just can't stop my brain from racing. It's just the way I've always been. I've always been that way. I have bad spells and then I have other times where I'm doing good. Yep. No coffee, no electronics or TV, laying down, closing my eyes, not Get able to sleep. Get the CPAP on. Yep. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but I'm not sleeping, unfortunately. And I'm trying to rub his back or touch his head until I fall asleep. No, that's fine. <laughs> All right, where you at, babe? Um, last week I was 161. This morning I was 161. So I guess we're even Steven this week, which yeah. I guess is better than going up. You know, it's weird. Is last week I uh, dropped four, and I don't feel like I did anything different or like right. off or, you know, just it's weird the way your bodies work sometimes. Mm-hmm. I am trying to still stick towards that carnivore side of things, um, you know, just to see if it makes a difference for me. Yeah. Um, kind of cut out some of the vegetables and the things I would normally have in a regular week to see if I can get it more just to the lean meats and stuff. Yeah. So that's what we're trying for this week. That's what he's trying. I'm not a big meat eater, so for me. Yeah. Well, hey, we took Stacy. you know how in the past episodes I always talk about Elvis a little bit. Uh, took mm-hmm. Stacy to go see Elvis and she enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but one of the things I was um, <laughs> talking about with Stace was because I kind of dig into everything a little deeper than I probably even need to. I've been watching all the old Elvis movies too, backwards, like starting in 56 and going forward. And I did not like Love Me Tender the last five minutes. <laughs> but anyway, well, we won't go into that. that. Anyway, there's a channel on YouTube, and I will link them below. It's called the Elvis TCB Network. And these two girls, Shauna and Rhonda, they talk a lot about Elvis history, and they also, on Fridays, they do Elvis history. And uh, (laughs) they also have, like, the movie review, which is highly recommended. If you want to see the movie or if you have seen the movie, go check out their movie review. They have a part one and part two. And they talk about all the discrepancies and the differences in the movie, what Hollywood did versus what really happened. And some of them are pretty big. So, you know, I won't ruin it for you if you hadn't seen the movie or if you're just interested in what Hollywood did versus the reality of it. I'd highly recommend those videos. So I'll link their channel below. You go check them out. Uh, Go subscribe and kind of follow along. It's been really fun. I I turned that on when I'm doing things. I was making meatballs for us last week and I had Mm -hmm. their Elvis history was playing and, uh, you know, I was watching that. So it was kind of fun. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to show Stacy. I haven't Stacey. watched any of that yet, but... I'm going to show Stacy the one on the movie reviews so she can kind of see what was, like, real and not real and Hollywood and not real. Right. And a lot of people got left out, too. And then some things were kind of distorted. I don't know. Anyway, I won't get into it. <laughs> What's our plan for today? Uh, I have a good friend at work. Her brother passed, so we're going to go uh, pay our respects and visit with, uh, with Julie and... Um, yeah, got, got some little... running to do, and I'm going to get some grocery shopping done. I've already been doing laundry all day this morning. We were sorting through old pictures, which is one of the things Bill started. And yes. uh, he, uh, wow. Found some very old pictures. I mean, very old, 20, 30 years old pictures pictures from our wedding. Yeah. And then you start going through those, and, you know, our wedding was almost 30 years ago. So you start realizing how many of those people are unfortunately passed. You know, so it's nice to see the pictures of everybody, but yeah, I recently lost my uncle a couple months earlier. I lost my, his wife, my aunt. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just one of the sucky parts about getting older. Do a lot more funerals than you do weddings. (laughs) 
Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So I guess that's it for us this week, and we will check back with you. Um, we did cut the lawn, so I'll throw a picture of that up so you can see it with the little stripies, and um, we'll go from there. I don't have pictures of the back because the snakes were out again. No, we don't stripe the back because nobody sees it anyway. No, nobody sees it, but mm, I did the riding mower because uh, he's got to find a way, or if you know a way, well, to kind of keep the snakes out. Mothballs and vinegar. Yeah, and, uh, we'll buy mothballs today. Yeah, yeah, put it on the list. It's already but, uh, on the list. Supposedly those things will help to get rid of well we got another problem too because the bunnies are eating everything they're eating all our flowers and everything so the only thing i have left is just the stalk yeah so not happy they ate all my daylilies they didn't eat the begonias and they didn't eat the petunias but they sure did eat all of my daylilies every single all one. of them and all the wildflowers in the back and all my wildflowers yep they were not discriminatory on the wildflowers they ate them all we bought a really nice variety mix of wildflowers for the back and it looked pretty yeah and now they're all gone just sticks oh well the perils of home ownership if that's the only problem we have then, then we're I'll, doing good i'll be happy but <laughs> i'm not happy but all right everybody you have a great week and uh we will stick to what we're doing and uh, i have been doing more meal prepping and making yeah. foods and stuff made some meatballs up last week they were and yummy. Were really good yeah so you know we're just sticking in there trying to hold on to everything yep with the price of gas and the price of food lately. Jeez, I wish I could afford some meats. Heck, it's even hard to find them anymore. Yeah. You run out of ground beef every time they get any. Yeah, by the Costco. end of my shift, if I want to get ground beef, I have to get it when I first get there and put it in the fridge. Because otherwise, by the end of the night, there's nothing left. Yeah. All right. Well, hope everybody's doing well. And like I said, we'll talk to you next week. Sounds good. See you All later. Right. Bye. Bye.